Hello everyone, my name is Abulon and welcome to your channel. Actually, in today's video, we are going to count down top 10 best strategy games for you out there in 2024 to play. We have a series of stories of pixels and cores in this channel. We talk about how the game is created. If you just like this kind of videos and you want to watch more, you and you can just click on the subscribe button and ring the bell. Without any hesitation, let's dive to the video. Number 10. XCOM 2. XCOM 2 is one of the best turn-based strategy games. It takes the best beats from the series so far. The Savage Struggle, the Ragtag Group of Heroes, Devious Aliens, the tight tactical battles, and true improvement after improvement on top. It's a toss-up as whether the War of the Chosen expansion is objectively better, but there are plenty of excellent XCOM 2 mods that can bring the vanilla game up to scratch. Both offer distinct yet equally rewarding experience. Number 9. Total War Warhammer 3. If you thought that Warhammer 2 was big, it's got nothing on Warhammer 3's sheer sense of scale. It essentially has everything that made that game great, all while bringing all 15 of the tabletop game's core races to life with jaw-dropping visuals. A new 5-hour tutorial prologue helps get new players up to speed, so it's also the best jumping in point if you have never experienced a Total War game. Once you begin to play, you're likely to play in the same campaign at least a calendar under year down the line and still have a smile on your face as you discover another new thing. Number 8. Age of Empires 4 for years, without a new Age of Empire game would never happen. However, 16 years after the last numbered entry, we now have Age of Empires 4 taking everything that made the remakes of the classic RTS series such a memorable experience for so many people and dialing it up a notch. It now includes a more historically inspired scenarios, 8th base game civilizations and a bunch of unique mechanics and armies at your disposal. Suppose you feel like learning something while experiencing Distinguishing your rival's chances of victory. In that case, it has a several unlockable documentaries that are well produced, teaching you all about the facts for each level you play. Number 7. Starcraft 2. Starcraft is a classic base building RTS featuring armored cowboys, xenomorphic aliens, and space elves. It tasks you with gathering resources, building armies, and killing your enemy before they kill you with quick decisions and even quicker mouse clicks. Starcraft 2 is a strong multiplayer game. Your enemies are humans, they'll probably be able to click faster than you, issuing orders quicker than you. You'll lose a lot, but you'll get better the more you play, making this one a decent RTS for anyone with competitive streak. The PvP campaign is also notable, as this story is hard to do in the RTS games, many developers resort to cutscenes or in-mission dialogue, but StarCraft 2 lets you interact with the world outside combat. Number 6. Command & Conquer Remastered Collection There's much to love about Command & Conquer Remastered, from the corny FMV cutscenes to the bunker secret levels. You'll struggle to find the strategy game with as much personality and charm as this RTS. It includes the original Command & Conquer set in a near future where the Global Defense Initiative GDI, and the Brotherhood of Not fight to control an ultra-valuable energy resource called Hiberium. It also stars Joseph D. Kokan as Kane, a man we swear hasn't aged a day since the 1990s. The other game in this immaculately recreated collection is Command & Conquer Red Alert, set in an alternative history where Hitler was assassinated before rising to power. We instead get allies varying over Europe against the invading Soviet Union. It may not be as bold as the sequels, one of which managed to cast J.K. Simons, Tim Curry, and George Tegi, but it's a still fantastic Drastically see the wrong. Number 5. A Company of Heroes 2 Hardiness Assault. Company of Heroes 2 was great, but it didn't quite match the magic of its predecessor. The US forces and German Oberkommando are fighting over control of Ardennes in a campaign inspired by a Battle of the Bulge in true wall game style. That set it apart from Company of Heroes and the sequel alongside its non-linear single-player campaign that plays out across the strategy meta map. The Germans are dynamic, reinforced by retreating forces, changing the challenges posed by both a story missions and the dynamic skirmishes. Number 4. Civilization 6 
you would find plenty of debate about which modern civilization game was better, C5 or 6, however, with the release of Gathering Storm expansion, this 6 and 3 of the series can finally stand proud as a great strategy game worthy of note, still epitomizing the ideal of one more turn. That makes these kind of games so addictive. Civilization 6 offers many more mechanics to bring the world to life around you. It's not just about schmoozing this sieve or declaring war on that sieve. You've got to pay attention to how you're impacting the world and working towards your goals, of which there is a wide variety. Number 3. Offboard Trading Company Offboard Trading Company is right at the other end of the strategy game spectrum from Civilization. Though its designer Soren Johnson also worked on C4, while Civ spans the history and some of the future of humanity, chronicling the progress of mankind, Offboard Trading Company is all about making the fortune by exploiting our red neighbor, Mars. It's an RTS crossed with the intricates of best management games, one in which victory is not achieved by throwing tanks at enemies or demolishing their base. Instead, your weapons are resources and cash, which can you can use to manipulate them to marketplace not just to get rich but to screw over your competitors completely. You might not expect an economic strategy game to be very aggressive, but Awful Trading Company encourages you to be just as hostile as a warmonger. Number 2. Crossator Kings Talk about a murderous bastard of a grand strategy game. While only time will tell whether this dynasty spanning emerging storytelling successor claims the throne of its now free to play predecessor, Crusader Kings 2 certainly kicked off its reign with royal excellency. Crusader King 3 has massively overhauled the series' formerly Byzantine interface, making it a welcome proposition for new players while retaining much of the depth of the series is known for. It may look like a traditional grand strategy map painter, and while it certainly features in depth systems, Systems for waging war. The heart of Crusader 3 lies in its personal, often hilarious stories. And number one, Manor Lords. One for early access lovers out there, Manor Lords is a strategy game that comes bundled with a cozy city builder. You attempt to build a medieval village from nothing and eventually take over every region, demolishing your enemies in the process. While the compact portion of Manor Lord hasn't been fully fleshed out, the blueprint is there, and equipping your villagers with the weapon you've painstakingly created is nearly as satisfying as outwitting your foes on the battlefield. 